Who says running has to be a marathon? Welcome to the thrilling realm of interval running, where we trade lengthy jogs for shorter, more intense workouts. It's all about alternating between periods of high-intensity exercise and recovery, where speed and stamina join forces to redefine your fitness journey. Interval running isn't just a way to shake up your routine, it's a scientifically backed method to boost your endurance and speed. You see, by pushing our bodies to their limits, we're not only burning calories, we're also improving our cardiovascular health and conditioning our bodies to recover faster. And the best part is, you don't need any fancy gear or a gym membership. All you need is a pair of running shoes, some open space, and a spark of determination. Ready to challenge the runner inside you? Let's dive in. Have you ever wondered why sprinters have such toned bodies? Well, it's no secret that they use a training method known as interval running, a blend of high-intensity bursts of speed with periods of active rest. But let's delve a bit deeper and understand the science behind this. At the heart of interval running is the interplay between anaerobic and aerobic exercise. During those intense sprints your body is working in an anaerobic state, meaning it's operating without enough oxygen to fuel the muscles. This forces your body to use stored energy sources, primarily glycogen, leading to a high calorie burn. Then, when you shift to a slower pace or active rest, your body enters an aerobic state, where there's ample oxygen to fuel the muscles. This phase allows your body to recover while still maintaining a heightened metabolic rate, continuing to burn calories. Now let's talk about fat burning zones. Traditional wisdom says that lower intensity exercise burns more fat. While this is technically true, the overall calorie burn is lower. High-intensity interval running, on the other hand, might burn a lower percentage of calories from fat during the workout, but the total number of calories burned is significantly higher. Plus, the afterburn effect, known as excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, or EPOC, means your body continues to burn calories at a higher rate even after the workout is finished. And it's not just about fat burning. Interval running also enhances both your speed and endurance. The high-intensity sprints improve your speed, while the active recovery periods train your body to recover more quickly, boosting your overall endurance. So, in essence, interval running is like getting the best of both worlds, the calorie-torching power of high-intensity workouts, and the endurance-building benefits of lower-intensity exercise. And all this combines to give you a more toned athletic body, much like those sprinters we mentioned earlier. Now that we know how it works, it's time to put theory into practice. So let's get ready to sprint our way to success. Time to lace up and hit the pavement. Let's get those muscles warmed up and hearts pumping. Start with a brisk 5-minute walk to get the blood flowing. Feel the rhythm of your feet against the ground, the fresh air filling your lungs. You're not just walking, you're preparing for greatness. Now let's elevate this warm-up a bit. Transition into a light jog for another 5 minutes. Not too fast now, this isn't the sprint yet. This is just to get your muscles ready for the explosive action to come. Feel your heart rate increase, your breath becoming more deliberate. This is your body telling you it's ready to push past its comfort zone. Alright, are you feeling warmed up? Good. It's time to introduce the first interval. You're going to sprint as fast as you can for 30 seconds. I mean it. Give it everything you've got. Your legs might burn and your breath might come in gasps, but that's okay. That's the sweet pain of growth. After that blast of speed, slow down to a light jog or brisk walk for a minute. This is your recovery period. Your heart will still be racing and you might be panting, but that's good. You're doing it right. Your body is adapting, getting stronger with every rapid heartbeat. Let's repeat this cycle two more times. Remember the goal isn't to outpace anyone else. It's to push your own boundaries, to challenge your own limits. So sprint for 30 seconds, then recover for a minute. You're building your speed and stamina, one sprint at a time. And remember, this is supposed to be fun. Smile through the sweat, laugh through the burn. You're not just working out, you're becoming a better version of yourself. Remember, it's not about how fast you go, it's about pushing yourself to your own limits. Still with us? Great, let's keep up the momentum. As we power through the second part of our interval running workout, remember that you're stronger than you think. Your body is a powerhouse of potential, waiting to be unleashed. So let's tap into that energy and continue to push our limits. Now we're going to build on the intensity. Let's kick it up a notch with some explosive sprints. These short, powerful bursts of speed are the key to unlocking your inner speed demon. They'll not only push your cardiovascular system to its peak, but also ignite your fat-burning engines. But remember, it's not all about speed. It's about control, too. So let's take a moment to talk about form. Keep your shoulders relaxed, your core engaged, and your gaze forward. 
Your arms should swing naturally by your sides and your feet should strike the ground lightly. This form will help you run more efficiently and reduce the risk of injury. And don't forget to listen to your body. If something feels off or painful, slow down. There's no shame in taking a moment to regroup. Remember, this is your journey, your pace, your rules. Now, let's move into our active recovery phase. This is just as important as the sprints themselves. It allows your heart rate to come down and your muscles to recover, so you can give your all in the next sprint. So, slow down but keep moving. March on the spot, do a slow jog, or walk if you need to, just keep that blood flowing. And don't forget to keep things fun, hum a tune, picture yourself crossing a finish line, remember why you started this journey. A positive mindset will make the workout feel less like work and more like play. You're doing amazingly! Don't forget to breathe and stay hydrated. Congratulations, you've just completed your first interval running workout. You've proven that you have the strength and determination to push through, even when it gets tough. Now, it's time to cool down and prepare for your next challenge. Cooling down is just as important as warming up. It helps your body return to its resting state and can reduce muscle stiffness. Start by slowing down your pace, gradually transitioning from running to jogging, then to walking. This allows your heart rate to come down gradually, and is an important part of maintaining your overall health. Next, stretch out those muscles you've worked so hard. Focus on your calves, quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Remember, gentle stretching can help improve flexibility and reduce muscle tension. And don't forget to hydrate. Replenishing fluids is key to recovery and preparing your body for your next workout. Incorporating interval running into your regular fitness routine can be a game changer. Not only does it boost your speed and stamina, it also breaks up the monotony of a long run. Try to include interval training two to three times a week for optimal results. And remember, consistency is key. It's not about how fast you run but how consistently you do it. Some days might be harder than others but don't be discouraged. Embrace the challenge and keep pushing forward. Also listen to your body. If you're feeling tired or sore, take a rest day. It's not a setback but a crucial part of your fitness journey. Your body needs time to recover and grow stronger. So keep those sneakers laced up and ready. Keep that determination burning. Because you have what it takes to conquer every challenge, every sprint, every run. Remember, every step you take is a step closer to your goals. Keep running, keep pushing, and you'll be sprinting to success in no time. Want to keep sprinting to success with us? This is just the beginning of your journey into the thrilling world of interval running. The sweat, the speed, the exhilaration, it's all part of the game, and we're here to play it with you. We're not just about the workouts, though. We're about the laughter, the camaraderie, the feeling of accomplishment when you conquer that last sprint. We're about empowering you to become the best version of yourself, both on the track and off. So why not take this journey with us? Beyond the confines of this video, we're inviting you to join our community on TikTok and Instagram. There you'll find more invigorating workouts, more fitness humor, and more tools to help you sprint to success. Remember, you don't need fancy equipment or a gym membership to chase your fitness dreams. All you need is a pair of running shoes, a can-do attitude, and us by your side. So are you ready to keep up the pace? Join us on TikTok and Instagram for more empowering content like this. You've got this.